Hi, my name is Jeremy Brune. Welcome to my living gallery, a living room full of things that I've made over the years. I design and make things in wood and had a bit of a tidy up so I can actually enjoy living with some of my creations. Uh, of course, many of my creations I've sold over the years. About four years ago, I did an experiment on an end slice of um, a log that was wet. And had I left it to nature, it would have uh, shrunk and cracked, especially if I had brought it indoors. So what I decided to do was encapsulate it in epoxy resin, because epoxy resin is supposed to be 100% impervious. I applied a few layers of epoxy resin, uh, probably no more than two or three millimeter thick, and then sanded it. And then after that, applied a lacquer just to get a really nice gloss. I mean, that wasn't necessary, but obviously I wanted to make it a visual thing as well. And the experiment has succeeded over the past four years, but I felt that I owe it to my viewers and my subscribers to update you that actually it has changed. It still fulfilled the original aim of sealing the moisture in, but this is the problem. The moisture has tried to come up to the surface and it's kind of clouded over and it's probably lying right up against the layer of epoxy resin. So that was kind of unexpected, but probably because I didn't think it through, that, that that's what it would try and do, that moisture is, is rather like a tree is growing up to constantly find light. Maybe the moisture is wanting to find its way out. So if you want to add to the conversation, please add a comment. I, I felt it only fair to be honest about this and say that this is what's happened after four years because I know there have been quite a few views of my original video and I did do a follow-up video as well. Interesting, where do we take it from here? Nature always wins. Well, nature usually wins. Thanks for watching.